So everyone out there may not believe me when I say that Ken Roxon has made his way in to Supercross the game number three. But guys, if we go ahead and select the 450 class, come on into our rider selection and go on over to the Great Legends pack. Right here, we have the Ken Roxon mod. This here is the mod from Leon291. This is the video over on his channel. The link to this video will be down below in the description if you guys do want to go check out the mod for you yourselves. This mod brings Ken Roxon into Supercross the game number three and he is on a 1986 Honda 250 two-stroke. We got those yellow number plates, Dunlop tires. Look at that man. The thing is clean. The way the mod actually works is it just simply replaces the Ricky Johnson rider, the AI rider Ricky Johnson within the Great Legends pack with Ken Roxon. Of course, the mod is available on PC only, so all of you console players, you guys can't get these mods. Actually, none of the mods are available on console. But guys, we have a Ken Roxon setup to check out, so let's get right on into the action. Alright guys, so I think first thing is first, we gotta get Ken Rocks and some practice up in here on the good old 252 stroke. So we are here in the compound, I'm going to try to find a track. Uh, where are all the tracks up in here? I haven't played the compound much, so... Okay man, starting a Goonzig video off with a classic crash. I love it. First things first, before we get too far into this video, I do have to say congratulations to Ken Roxon and his wife on having their first child. Newborn baby, newborn Roxon up in here. And uh, yeah, Roxon posted on Instagram the other day. His child was just born, so I hope everything is A-OK -okay and going swell over there. The man Ken Roxon is officially a dad. Take that one in. That is that is crazy. Can we get some Ken Rocks and Daddy Ken Rocks and hype in the comments down below? Go down there, spam some hype for Ken Rocks and becoming a dad. If you guys are down there in the comments below, let me know. Question of the video. Do you guys think Ken Roxon still has what it takes to win a championship? He's been through a lot, through a lot of ups and downs. He clearly has a ton of talent, but can he pull it together and get another championship? before his career is over let me know in the comments down below and let's have some fun with this video if you guys are new around here make sure to go down there click that subscribe button on the road to 20,000 subs man you guys have been killing it absolutely crushing it with the support recently and i can't thank you guys enough i just want to say that this 252 stroke is honestly the fastest bike in the game it might have the 450s beat this thing Flies. If you can carry momentum, stay on the gas and just carry your speed, man, it is a fast bike. It might not be the best bike for Supercross, but it definitely works. It definitely works. It gets the job done, and you can bust out some big old lines on the 252 stroke. The fact that now we have Roxon on the 252 stroke, we got Ronnie Mack on the 252 stroke, Ricky Johnson, I mean... Ricky Johnson gets replaced with all of these mods, but he's still in the game on the 252 stroke. We need more two strokes, am I right? We need more two strokes. Once again, I don't know if I just don't have the mod installed correctly or what, or if the game just simply doesn't like that mods are installed, because yeah, I don't think Roxon is supposed to have two heads that is definitely that's not okay roxon takes on daytona here in supercross 3 walking out waving to the fans i think i'm definitely gonna have to uninstall the snow mod before next video i totally forgot i had it installed cool mod but i don't know if i always want to be shredding daytona snow out here i want that daytona sand baby so i don't think there's any way i can do a video of ken roxon on a two stroke and not actually do a supercross race so here we go ken roxon takes on supercross on a 252 stroke in the snow too in the snow at daytona oh we got a lot of iconic things going on here in this video let's try and get into this triple triple line and let's go. I OJ'd that triple. Like, 
by a mile and a half. Let's get this first lap carnage out of the way. It's always chaos and carnage working your way through the AI on the first couple laps. So let's see what goes down. This section, as you guys know, eats me alive and oh baby almost looping my Larry. Me and Daytona, we definitely do not get along. Like this track, oh, it is one of my worst enemies in this game. The AI, I can beat them no problem. But you put me up against Daytona, oh, we got some issues, man. We got some issues. So I think the only way to really conquer my Daytona fear, my struggles on Daytona, is by simply playing more Daytona, am I right? I can only get better at Daytona by playing Daytona, so that's exactly, oh man, ruining that rhythm, going for the big line and not making it, but more Daytona, baby, more Daytona here on the channel. It is a super fun track, it's a very, very high speed track, and for the most part, you can toss it, oh, <gasps> how am I still on two wheels? I thought I was going down for sure. Some tricky rhythms, definitely two very very tough rhythm sections the rest of the track is fairly easy like through here i wouldn't really classify this rhythm as super tough even though i'm casing jumps out here daytona definitely strays a little bit away from the regular supercross style track it has very very long straightaways long sections the rhythm sections aren't very supercross like for the most part obviously there are your supercross rhythms but this section here, it's very motocross style. Let's see if I can make this triple on this lap. <laughs> Getting sketchy, but let's just commit. Just commit to the triple triple line. Let's see if I can get bag it behind me, wheeling into that corner. I thought I was going down for sure. Past bag it just like that, and I can set my sights on Justin Hill. There we go past him just like that and that's what i mean about daytona it's a very easy track except for two rhythms and those two rhythms can be tricky switch on over to helmet cam here as we chase down the man marvin muskin he's our leader and he is oh man the goon moments are definitely about to come out here in helmet cam but marv is currently the man with the target on his back oh, literally literally on his back as I land on him in that rhythm section. That was not planned at all, but I'm happy it happened. That made my day right there. Just like that in the P1, we can have some fun here on the last lap. Coming up over the dragon's back, let's go get that white flag officially onto that last lap now. Let's have some fun in that Daytona snow. I think I'm definitely uninstalling the snow mod after this video. I don't know, what do you guys think? Should I keep it? change it up from just your standard supercross style races out here one final run through the rhythm section of doom man this section eats me alive i'm happy i hit it clean at least once i think i jump way too far off of the first wall jump after that supercross triple i need to stay low and carry a lot more speed into that rhythm rather than sending the wall Am I right? I think that would uh, definitely benefit me throughout the rest of that section. Ooh. Let's just not talk about that one. With that crash, Marv gets by. Should I take him out? It didn't work. Mission failed, boys, and we taking L's out here all day. All in all, though, I had a ton of fun making this video, guys. The Ken Roxon mod for Supercross 3 is awesome, especially having him on a two-stroke. Ken Roxon takes on Supercross on a 250 two-stroke. Man, that should have been the best takeout of 2020 right there. But look at Marv trooping on through takes that hit like no tomorrow, like a champ. He stole that win, man. He stole that W right from under Roxon's belt. Once again, huge shout out to Roxon. Huge congratulations to him. He is now officially a dad. Daddy Roxon up in here, man. I will catch you guys all in the next video. Peace out.